Welcome back to Manchester, where it's make your mind up time for Colin and Anthony, who've seen eight properties and there's been some tough moments. We, we compromise on the bedroom size if we had the living space. But, no. but this doesn't yeah. offer either, really. Yeah. Not very good. I don't even want to go and look, honestly. Then we struck gold, a flat we thought had everything. You've got your own dining area. It's got everything we want in terms of a flat, but not out there. Except the perfect location. They finally decided to shortlist two properties. The first is my favourite, an apartment in this converted cotton mill with excellent features. And the second, the one we're in now, is my favourite, light and airy and with one of the best views in town. But £5,000 more than their stated budget. It is exciting. It's a lot of money, but it's exciting. It's, it's what you think. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, there it is. It hots up and we've got two properties to see on the final day tomorrow. So, here we go for the second viewings. They've got £135,000 to spend and two choices. Which one is it going to be? The first property on Colin and Anthony's shortlist is a one and a half bedroom loft apartment in this converted cotton mill behind me. This clever conversion has an open plan living and dining area. I love the exposed brickwork and numerous features, but most importantly, I reckon that the flat has excellent scope for improvement. This loft has a bed deck and a bedroom. Colin and Anthony could double their living space by removing this dividing wall. Then, with a few minor alterations, they could turn the bed deck into a proper bedroom. A clever and inexpensive solution to their problem. Three grand should take care of the building work, but with an asking price of £135,000, I'd have to admit that it's already at the top of Colin and Anthony's budget. This is the other property on Colin and Anthony's shortlist. It's the penthouse apartment in this converted warehouse. There's a bright and spacious living room, a sectioned off kitchen that we all liked and two proper bedrooms. No bed decks here. One of the bedrooms even has the added bonus of an ensuite shower room. The features include cast iron columns and beams. But the flat's biggest selling point, yes, it's that balcony and view putting the asking price up to a tantalising £140,000. £5,000 more than the boys are prepared to spend. But first, the cotton mill at Samuel Ogden Street. Well, I'm really pleased that you shortlisted this property because it's one of my favourites. The purpose of the second viewing is really to try and deal with any questions or worries or things that you've now thought of that you want to have a second look at. What was in your mind that you needed to come and check out again? I think for me was to look at the lounge space <clears throat> because we talked about taking the wall down mm. and we're not very comfortable with that. So it was to have a look at the space that was here to see if we could use it. That is not a structural wall. It doesn't hold anything up. It doesn't support anything. It's a simple job to remove it. My estimation of cost would be about £1,500. You've got a day's work to take that out. You're not going to cause a lot of damage to the floor or the ceiling. I, don't con I really don't consider it a problem issue. I concern myself that people get too involved in the financial implications of doing work and damaging value. It's your home. We're looking for this place for more as a stepping stone, more like five years. Um, if we were to do all that work, um, we'd want to stay longer than five years, ideally. You, you just said the words, immortal words, all that work. £1,500 worth of work is not all that work. And if it, was, if it was going to damage the value of your flat when you put it back on the market, put the wall back up. It's another £1,500. You like more, keeping us busy. More work. <laughs> we, we've done I'm that. just throwing these out to you. It's ideas. It's we, up to you to reject them or go with them. Yeah, Second viewings are a good time to move furniture about, with the vendor's permission, of course. A little rearrangement can give a whole new perspective. Does it bring on a different feel? I'm in the bedroom, Colin and Anthony still in the living room, wandering around, seeing if it works for them. They're really going to take this to the wire, aren't they? I think the flat's great. I, I have no concern about removing that wall, and I genuinely think if we brought them into this flat and the wall wasn't there, 
and the bed deck was, was made a proper bedroom at 135,000 they were gone. Wow, it's perfect. So it's on to shortlisted property number two, located just across the road in Bloom Street. I really like that door. I think the lift is around, around here. here. Yeah. yeah. When we left this flat the other day, when was it? God, was it yesterday? It seems a whole yes. world ago. Yes. It seems just a whole lifetime ago. We looked back up here and we saw another couple looking over that terrace and it gave me a really peculiar feeling, a sort of competitive feeling. I wanted <laughs> to rush back and, you know, drag them out and say, no, 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 that's ours, we want to keep that for Anthony and Colin. That couple thought that it was too small for them, personally. I rung the agent and spoke to them about it. But it has only just come on the market. And when I think of all the other things I've seen, and I think of the market in Manchester and all the other people who are looking, I can't help thinking that it's going to be snapped up. So, no time to lose then, boys. Get your second viewing in quickly. It's a family-sized kitchen. It's fab. How big is it? Twice, three times bigger than the last one? Definitely, yeah. Absolutely. What's it got? Dishwasher, bonus, bonus, bonus. Saves a big job each time. Microwave? Microwave. Will it fit there, do you think? Will it fit in that again? I think it will. Should I think be. so. Should do. I like the detail, the metal. I like this. Oh, Natural yeah. light in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. What's Definitely. going on there? Excellent. That's a bonus. What about this recess here? Would you leave it or would you? A little recess, would you leave it or would you put some little shelves in or...? I think it's nice that it is. Yeah. Gives it a little bit more space in the hallway. Feeling of space. I'm a bit worried about them, but I think it'll be okay. It's a good job we're short, that's I all I can say. Short taxes. <laughs> I am en suite. I didn't expect this. This yeah. is this is lovely. Sheer luxury. One of the things we didn't ask for and yet we managed not. to pull out of the bag. I love the common parts of this flat. They're so cool. This door this exposed steel gantry which rests on the beams and really use them and has all the services running off it, the gas, the electricity, the telephone. It fits in, the design is brilliant. And the final touch, the stairs. Masses of exposed brickwork, which is the boys' favorite thing. And they've even decided that the noise from the bar downstairs is no longer an issue. Everything else about this penthouse loft is just too perfect. Right, guys, the time is here. You're out of the property market and you're desperate to get back in. We've done a lot of work, we've seen a lot of properties. Are either of the ones that you two shortlisted the right property for you? I think we've discounted Cotton Mill. It's been discounted. Yeah. The first one, it's out of the, out of the equation. Yeah, I think the second viewing confirmed that for us. Right. felt even smaller and we had a much better look around and decided Which it's not for us. Which leaves rather opportunely stood on this, this balcony one, yeah. in the penthouse flat. Mm. What are your thoughts here? We like it. We like it lots. Yeah. Like definitely. it enough to buy it? At the right price, if yeah. If the price is right, I think it's the cash raise. This is it then? We're going to have a go at buying this? I think so. I think yeah. we'd like to give it a try. Committing your money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scary well. as it may be. Now we get to the nasty bit. This flat is on the market at £140,000. Do you want to pay that much for it? I think if it had parking, we wouldn't have thought about it. We'd have just said, there's the money, we'll take it tomorrow. Because it hasn't got parking, I think we need to compromise. We're compromising and we think we need to get a compromise on the price. I think it's unlikely you'll get it for less than 135, mm -hmm. but I certainly don't disagree with the wisdom of starting at 130 and mm -hmm. seeing what happens. You just never, never know. Exactly. My only concern is that it's done yesterday, that it's done, you know, as soon as physically possible because I don't want to put in a low offer and to have that sitting out there exposed so that whoever comes and sees it tomorrow gets wind that there's an offer and goes in at the asking price, which you can't afford because of the parking issue. Mm -hmm. So would you be prepared to let me do it now, right now? Right. <laughs> I don't see why not. Yeah. We said we're going for it, so go for it. 
you want something, you've got to be prepared to fight for it and get your bid in before anyone else. Hi, sorry, my name. Oh, that's all we need. I don't think if we can't get hold of him, anyone else can get hold of him, and that's the key. I can't believe we've come this far, this close, and not been able to get to speak to the man. It's gutting. 9 a.m. and I'm taking no chances. It's straight down to the office to put the offer forward in person. Hi, how are you? Doing? Um, we've got an offer for you on 63 Bloom Street in Manchester. Um, the gentleman's made an offer of 130,000. That's not acceptable. How'd you get on? Oh, it was a nightmare. They turned it down. At, I'll tell you about it. They yeah? turned it down immediately. Let's cut to the test. What are we going to do? Do you still love the flat? Do you still want to buy the flat? I think it's lovely, and we're disappointed we're not having a look at it again today. Um, do you want to go? Yeah, one, three, three. I'd say go with it, yeah. Try 133. Three. 133, three, see what happens. 133 three it is, but sorry, lads, someone's about to throw a spanner in the works. Chris, we'll come back to you. Bye. What now? The vendor has been on the phone to the agent. He's got a tenant lined up and he's now considering renting it. But they never said it was available for rent. He wants a really strong offer and he wants it quickly, if this is going to happen at all. Well, is this just a tactic? I don't know, but it's we've got to go in at the 135. Well, we've got no, to no, use no, that wait. now. Maybe we're being pushed to 135, but I'm not saying the agent is using this as a tactic, but he's a canny vendor, that. He has other properties in Manchester. He buys and sells a lot. You know, we're up against a professional. This is not just but if your... he does have a tenant lined up, then he's going to rent it tomorrow. There's no time to play games for us. We are going to secure this. He wants a strong offer and he wants it quickly. I hear what you're saying, but I want to do a bit of research. Agreed? Yeah. OK. Time might not be on your side, but always try and find out as much as you can before putting in your offers. It turns out that the threat to rent the property was serious after all. My feeling now is that we should go in at 135 and say that's our top offer. End of story. We have no more money to offer you than that. If that's not good enough to prevent you renting it, fine, rent it. It, ma it makes me feel like saying rent it then, if that's, yeah, if that's your attitude. Does. At such a late stage, you know yeah. we're interested, we've been to look at it three yeah. times, what is the problem? Yeah. Go and rent yeah. it, because no. that's how I feel when we get yeah. treated yeah. like that. Well, it's um, the wouldn't stage. advise getting principled? It's very not... Lots of people get very principled yeah. at, at delicate stages in negotiations. If you want the flat, you have to go for it. What would you say? One three five. Yeah, one three mm -hmm. five. Hitting with one three five. We said that's it. That's all the money. Here's the check waiting. See what happens. Okay, let's go and do it. They really want the flat. I mean, there's no doubt about how keen they are on the flat, but they just haven't got more than one three five, and that has to be a last and final offer. Would you? Four p.m. and the estate agent finally rings back. We've dragged Colin Anthony along to tell them what he said. And I think probably you've seen my face and you've seen Phil's face. Actors, we're not. Um, it's not good. Right. He said that the vendor had said that it was 139 or he was going to rent it. So he's taking the rental option, is he? He hasn't done it yet, no. He hasn't actually signed the rental agreement yet, but he has said that unless he gets 139, he is going to rent it. And I said to Chris, as you know, we're not up to 139. Let's get him the pen for the rental agreement. We can't afford more than 135. How does it make you feel, Raz? Disappointed, isn't it? I'm a bit angry, to be honest with you, because I think he's strung us along a little bit. That's how it feels. I mean, if you're going to sell it, you're going to take serious offers, and 135 is a serious offer. Yeah. Well, I think the vendor has changed the goalposts. Mm -hmm. He essentially wants to rent his flat, and unless someone will pay him 139, he's, he's going to do, do that. that. Mm -hmm. We've done all that we can. True. Um, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out, but as Kirsty said, you're well positioned to go on and find something else, and I'm sure you will. 
Mm-hmm. So and don't give up. Yeah. Serious embrace. Certainly. Oh, oh I'm really sorry. Well. It'll be okay. They stuck to their guns. And whatever you might be thinking, that is a key element of buying a property. All too often, when the going gets tough, the first thing that people forget about is how much they can really afford. So it's vital to remember to get your finances sorted out in the very beginning. Still, we've shown them some excellent options and help focus their mind. My feeling is that they're not going to be homeless for too much longer. Sadly, that's all we've got time for in Manchester. Next week, we're off to Brighton to try and find the ideal seafront apartments. Come on, Kirsty, I'll let you buy me a drink. Drink? I'm going shopping. Have you seen shopping? And the good news is that Colin and Anthony have now found a place to live close to one of the lofts that we showed them. We came here during the original shoot and looked at uh, one on the ground floor. We liked the development, didn't we, at the time? Just that flat wasn't quite right. And we've got what we wanted, which is a balcony. We've got a parking space. Two bedrooms. Lovely City views. Quiet location just off the main drag, which is what we wanted. Yeah, we really like it. We're really happy. Mm -hmm.